I just got back from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Walt Disney World. So today I want to give you guys a little haul of everything I picked up. And we also got some non Galaxy's Edge stuff today that I'm just going to throw into this video. All right, looking around at my desk here, what I want to pick up first and show you guys, I guess, I'll, you know what, let's go with the one not fully Star Wars thing here, but I brought it in the haul because it has something Star Wars on it. You know, I'm a big, big coffee guy, big coffee mug guy as well. And uh, literally while I was there, Starbucks put out the new per park, you know, coffee mugs. So I had to pick up the Hollywood Studios one. And of course, uh, I think, where do we got a first order trooper on there as well as BB-8 or is that the Sith droid? What is that? BD-9-8? I don't even know. But, uh, you know, it, it might be sequel character stuff, but there's Star Wars stuff on here, so I had to pick it up. And, you know, there's also the Millennium Falcon and Batu, but, you know, I, Hollywood Studios, also my favorite park, so just a win-win. And keeping on the coffee mug train, we do have a Return of the Jedi one. I assume this came out last year. It was last year, the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi? Something like that. Yeah, it was, because it was in theaters. But uh, we have a Return of the Jedi coffee mug here. Let's see if it's going to focus. There we go. It's got Luke and Yoda on the front. Pretty sick. It says, uh, oh, it just says Luke Skywalker and Yoda, the Jedi Masters. Very cool. And it's got the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi logo. Pretty sweet here. This was an easy buy. Second I saw it, I was like, that's coming home. And that wasn't the only Return of the Jedi merch that I picked up because not only did I get that coffee mug, but I also got this t shirt that's got Jabba the Hutt and Salacious Chrome on it. I, I'm, you probably can't even hear me in the microphone, but it's pretty sick. There you go. I haven't even worn it yet. It's brand spanking new. It's, it's pretty awesome. Never, I'm not really a yellow guy, but like I thought this shirt was sick. So we're going to go for it. And from that, we'll move to some Christmas ornaments. And why are we going to go straight to the Christmas ornaments? Because there's a Return of the Jedi Christmas ornament. And it's Luke versus Vader in the throne room. And even if it's going to focus, even Palpatine's back there. Let's see. Are we going to get a focus today? We are. Look how sick that is, dude. Look how sick that is. Freaking awesome. This is an easy buy. Two of these, I got three Christmas ornaments here. I bought two of them, and then the last one I was like teetering with, and then I bought it the last day I was there because I was like, nah, this is too cool. It's got to come home with me. But this one was basically an immediate buy. Just Luke and Vader. I'm just a sucker for green lightsabers too. I think they're super cool. Um, even though I don't even know if I would say they're my favorite one. But I, that's like a whole different discussion. But Luke and Vader... Uh, with palps awesome ornament there and the other one that was an easy buy was anakin versus obi-wan on mustafar this whole like lava backgrounds got going on there it's kind of like if it, we can get the thing out of the way kind of like translucent if that's the word i'm looking for and it's just super cool obviously you know the faces on these things not super detailed but it, they don't need to be i think you're just looking at the thing overall and not you know oh does the detail on anakin look good i'm not looking for hot toys quality here but the christmas ornament overall absolutely sick anakin and ov1 you know it, it's probably gonna be cut out you guys can't see it when i edit this but yeah you know, we always got the movie poster in the background even if it's not technically in your background revenge of the sith my favorite movie and the one that i picked up at the end was the queen amidala this one was just super cool man and this one actually has some pretty cool detail on her and i just love the whole setup i love that they're not just like individual characters like all three of these like really create the environments uh and the scenes and i'm pretty sure i, I definitely saw the anakin and obi-wan online before maybe the same thing with the luke invader i'm not sure if i've ever seen this even though i'm sure it's out there i probably just missed it but uh, i came across a bunch of star wars christmas ornaments there was more there's like two yoda ones a couple other things i believe as well but these are the ones i decided to pick up super super cool And then speaking of super cool, I, I, you know, I really wasn't sure if I was going to buy this. I thought about it on the way down there and I was like, I don't know. Then I'm looking at them. I forget. What is it? Doc Ondor, Doc Ondor, Doc Ondor's Ondor. I don't care what the store is called. So forget it, but it's in Galaxy's Edge and uh, I, I got a holocron. I got a Je Jedi holocron and I, it's a, I'm a little bit annoyed because as you can see, uh, this must have happened on the way home, but like this corner of it, like won't shift all the way back keeps like popping up which is kind of annoying me because i literally picked up like five of these things until i got like a perfectly 
good square when I was there. So that must have happened on the way home, like in, when I was in my bag or something. I don't know. But I did also get a kyber crystal with this. Not at first. I bought this one back to my hotel that was like, oh my god, I didn't get a crystal. So I, I, I went back and got one. But nonetheless, let's uh, let's open this up here. Let's open. Yep. Dude. Obviously, it'll look looks way sicker. Wait. May the force be with you. you. Kidding me, dude? Yeah, this thing's freaking sick. Obviously, it looks even cooler when like the lights are out. This was fifty dollars, <laughs> and all it does is lights up. Uh, and then you put the crystals in, and it lights up different color. Originally, it's blue. And it says like the Obi One uh, thing. Let, let's take out the crystal. All right, so here's the crystal. I took it out. I bought a green Kyber crystal, as you can see. And then originally it's blue. Let's now we got now we got to do this. Now we got to let's let's yeah. Hold on. This is Master Obi One Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. Bro, fire, fire. So, uh, fifty dollars well spent, I think. And then this. This thing was like 18. I almost bought the Sith Holocron too. But then I would have bought a crystal for that. And I was like, I can't do this all in one shot. So maybe next time we'll get the Sith Holocron. But I got the Jedi one for now. And I might even need to buy a replacement when I go down there. Because that one corner is just bothering me. But we got one for now. Next thing that I almost forgot because I already put it on display and forgot to grab it. Um, not that I collect fig pins, but it was a uh, Disney Parks exclusive and I love the character. So I was definitely picking this up. Disney uh, Park exclusive, even though I'm sure you can buy it online. Honda <laughs> Naka uh, fig pin. Super cool. They had a Chewbacca one as well, but I didn't really feel the need to have it. But I love the Hondo. And again, Disney Parks exclusive. I'm sure you can buy it online, but the fact that I bought it there is like half the reason why. I bought it. It's a souvenir from the parks, even though I got it at Disney Springs. And, you know, it's Hondo, so it's super cool. So it was worth the purchase. You wanna go in there? I'm not going in. Yeah, I'm not 
All right, so that was actually it for the Galaxy's Edge stuff, but I got some other stuff that I figured I'd throw in this video. So Wednesday, the day I'm filming this, a brand new Star Wars comic released, and I'm not really like a comic guy, but there's a couple different things, a couple different, let's get it out, couple different series starting for Star Wars this year, and also a couple of Marvel ones that I thought would be a good jumping in point. So I'm trying to get into comics a little bit, but this came out today, and it is the Thrawn alliance uh comic uh, issue one of this series so i got that and i also got one of the alternate covers and i also these are the only ones that the um, comic book shop had so i got these two for the throne alliance but i also ordered online another alternate cover that has thrawn and anakin on it and I'm, which is which i'm <laughs> really pumped up about but then there's also another one that's like half thrawn and half vader and i'm like all right i'm just getting into comics let me not go too crazy with all these alternate covers but I am looking forward to reading uh, this one. So we got the Thrawn Alliance. I believe the second issue comes out like next month or something like that. I don't know. Still new to comics, but looking forward to diving into these. And then last but not least, I wanted to show this in a video. I got this in the mail from fellow YouTuber, uh, Poptographer. We got his 2024 Funko Pop Star Wars calendar. So this is all his uh, Star Wars Funko Pop photography. Let me open it up to January here. Um, and it's a uh, calendar of all his photography. And I was like, I'm getting this because I always have a calendar somewhere in the office. And this was going to be the one for the year. Plus the one, not for nothing, but the one, Star Wars ones that are at like Walmart this year freaking suck. They're getting lazier and lazier every year. So I was like, you know what? We're getting, we're getting my guy, uh, Poptographers this year. I'll put the link to this down below in the description. I'll show, I'll show you guys one more. If you want to see the rest, you're going to have to go by yourself got cad bane in april but yeah i figured i'd throw this in here plus i just wanted to give him a plug and again i'll put the link to this down below in the description pop tog for made an absolutely awesome 2024 calendar shout out to patrick but that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below more content to come remember this is where the fun begins this is rogue two this is Rogue Two. Commander Skywalker, do you copy? This is Rogue Two.